your time, you don't have to hurry. I've been waiting on you a long, long time. Yeah, nonchalant, now we all the drama. But my people wait for the karma, looking at you. Hey, Queen, so welcome to my personal channel. Recording on my iPhone, so I have the questions on this phone. No, this is not an iPhone. So the first question is The first question is what inspired you to start YouTube? Well, I don't know if some of y'all think this is my first channel, but it's not. I have a main channel with my boyfriend. Um the name is B Wave and K Wave Empire. So if you're not sub if you're not subscribed, what are you doing? Make sure you go subscribe. I'm gonna leave the channel name right here. Just screenshot and I'm gonna leave the link in the bio. So make sure y'all go watch us. Um, like the videos, comment some ideas, and you know, just stay, stay tuned. Um, oh, before I move on to the next question, so, um, so I decided to make my own channel just because you know, with me and him, we have to wait until like a specific day to do the videos because obviously he works. Not that his time he still works, and I don't have anything to do, so we still have to wait until a specific day to drop videos. But for this one now. I can do videos whenever I want, edit them whenever I want, and just do hauls, like girl talks, get ready with me. I don't really do makeup, so I can't have like how to do makeup or makeup videos, but I can have videos about my hairstyles because those who know me know I change my hairstyle like fast. And like nail videos and <laughs> I will tell my touch new self um to try not to fit in because I think when I was touching out we tried to like fit in with social media and whatnot because like when I was thirteen there was like this Facebook famous thing. Everybody wanted to be Facebook famous or whatever and I always wanted to be Facebook famous and known whatever and I wouldn't say um whatever I saw people doing I would want to do but you know and well, it's not good to try to fit in with people. Just stay in, stay in your own lane, do your own thing. Don't worry about anybody, mind your business, you know? So, yeah. The fifth question is, when is the birthday? My birthday is October 18, the best month, period. The next question is, I think I'm going to start using the back camera because every time I use the front camera, every time I use the front camera, I was like, focus on myself. I was like, looking at myself. The next question is, how did you meet your boyfriend? The real ones know how I met him. I met him at high school, secondary school, whatever y'all say. Um, I saw him when I was in second form. I think that I was the one that saw him first. And when I got to like, when I was in third form, when I was in third form, um, he, he got to know me. And that time he wanted me, but I didn't want him anymore. And then like, when I got to four and he got to fifth, that's when we started, you know, talking, whatever. And then we started dating, like, when I was in fourth and when he was in fifth. Or when I was in fifth and he finished school already. But, yeah. Where do you see yourself in eight to ten years? Honestly, I know, for sure, I see myself, like, finishing college and stuff, like, owning my own business, but... Besides that, I can't tell the future, so I don't know how to answer that question. Um, what is your favorite color? My favorite color is orange at the moment, as you can see. Orange backdrop, background, whatever. And I have orange in my outfit. What's your middle name? Well, well, I have two middle names. My first middle name is Rihanna, R-I-E-N-A, and my second middle name, I'm not going to tell you all that because... Those who know me personally know that I don't like my second middle name, so I'm not going to say it. But the most I can say is it starts with H. So y'all can get it down in the comments below. But I'm pretty sure nobody will get that right anyway, so. Where are you from? I'm from, okay, I was born in New York. Like, I was born in Brooklyn, but I was raised up in Antigua. My mom is from Antigua. I'm an addict from Dominica, but I was born in New York, so I'm basically from Antigua, but I always travel to New York like every single year, period. 
the next question is why do you love KFC so much? Um, okay, before time, like I used to eat KFC like every single day, like twice a day, yeah, twice a day, or like every single day of the week. But now I've been trying to change the way I eat, so now I will eat KFC like maybe twice a week or three times a week, just once a day though. So, yeah, so what is your biggest pet peeve, bro? I really, really, really hate when people chill on next to me. Honestly, that just drives me crazy. I hate that. And also, not even chilling alone, chilling out alone. Like when you are, for example, you have a paper bag or something and you're trying to, I don't know, where, like, um, like fold it up or something to throw it away and you're making noise or that. That would like, it would hate me, bro. Every single thing, like, whatever has to do with something loud, that just irritates me, drives me crazy. There's one thing you hate about your boyfriend. Um, honestly, I don't really hate anything about him, but the only thing I would consider, well, it's not really hate or anything, but me and him both, like, we're stubborn. He was born in October, I was born in October, but honestly, I don't look at it as a sign because I don't think sign has to do with how people act or whatever. But we're both stubborn, so you know, sometimes when you argue, yeah, you know how that goes. I'm not gonna get into details about my business. So. Um, the next question is, What are you studying to be? I'm studying to like, I'm going to get my bachelor's degree in business administration. So, yeah, um, I'm studying online for those who want to know, but oh, you live in Antigua, I don't see this college, whatever. I study online and I'm like halfway through already. I started um I started in I started January I think or February, I'm not too sure. Some of the advice I would give to people that want to do online courses is that okay like when you're just starting, you know, you're gonna feel motivated, you're gonna want to do it, you're gonna feel happy, excited, whatever. But you see once again like okay for me for summer my summer break started like August 1st so because it's summer is nobody doing work and whatnot I realized I have my fan on for the longest while so I hope you all didn't hear that but like when you see everybody doing their own thing everybody on summer break you were the only one left to work you really don't have any motivation but you know online courses is good that's why I did it obviously and um it has its advantages and disadvantages so the disadvantage one of them i would say is that like if you don't understand something you don't have a professor to explain it to you like physically or whatever they're not the in person to explain it to you so you would have to contact them via email and if you don't understand what they're saying through emails then you know what's the biggest fear um uh, my biggest fear is I honestly don't even know. Where was the first argument or fight at PM? PM is my high school I went to. Those who know me, well, I've never gotten into a fight before in my life. Maybe at primary school, like some petty stuff, but at high school, I've never gotten into a fight yet. There's been times when girls, certain girls, you know, pick to have arguments with me or whatever, but I don't normally argue, but argue back with people. That's a, that's just the type of person I am, and I don't fight with people if people say something about me because like your opinion doesn't matter to me. Somebody can call me ugly, I'm not gonna care. Somebody could say I stole something. Somebody could say, oh she's not wearing her own clothes, or for she here look tank, or her nails don't look good, her eyebrows don't look good. But once I know I didn't steal anything. I brought my own clothes, my eyebrows look good, my hair look good, my nails look good, like, I'm not going to take on what you do because words can hurt me, you know, I know what I do, so I don't care what people say, like, they know more about you, that you know more than your actual self, like, how can you tell me what I've been doing, and I know I'm doing, I don't have to explain this, but I know I'm trying to say, like, come on, the next question is, how, how come you decided to start your own business? Okay, so this is like a funny story. Before I actually wanted to start my own business, but I wasn't like ready yet. But so when I went away, I went away for the summer. Um, I went to New York, and I came 
early because I wanted to spot my friends somewhere here because I've never actually been in Antigua for you know summer or whatever so I wanted to experience it but it was kind of boring anyway and so these like um, flip flops that y'all seen so I only do flip flops or whatever so I got like four of them for myself right um, I don't know something I saw like I wear size 6 in them and I still took out when I was in the store all of them said size 6 then now when I came back to Antigua I'm unpacking my suitcase I see um size 8 and size 9 I'm like what? then when I put my foot in them they can't fit me and like I was so pissed so I posted the pictures of them on my whatsapp and I was like so shocked that people wanted them people was like you should start selling shoes you should start your own business and I didn't really expect that so that's how I like started came up with the idea it was like so unexpected I didn't expect the support that I got like people was telling me to start my own business and stuff so I'm like I know y'all saw something but I'm using my ring lights and the battery just died so um so yeah that's how I started my own business I know my business is doing good I'm 17 in my own business yeah and I've just um I'm gonna start doing like customized ankle bracelets so I'm gonna leave my business information below I'm gonna leave it right here on the screen so y'all can see make sure y'all go follow me follow my business page on instagram like my facebook page you know support the thing what's your favorite memory with your boyfriend um like honestly every moment we're together is like my favorite moment but i don't actually have like a real favorite memory of us so yeah What's your plans for the future? I kind of already answered that question already. So, so yeah, that's all the questions. That are all the questions I got. So, I hope I didn't leave out anything about myself. And I hope I said everything about myself that y'all should know. But yeah, um, please leave some video ideas below. Because this is my personal channel. I'm going to do like girl stuff on this channel. Like, as I said earlier, clothing hauls, get ready with me. When I'm doing my hair, when I'm doing my nails like beauty tips whatever girl talks and those stuff so y'all leave some ideas below tell me what my next video should be i think i want my next video to be letting my instagram followers control my life for 24 hours so make sure y'all go follow me on instagram nostalgic i will really leave it below everything is going to be in the description so yeah make sure y'all go follow me in case i do that but as i said leave some video ideas make sure y'all subscribe like comment you know turn on your notifications because i'm going to be posting like weekly since it's me alone so yeah see y'all in my next video peace